Proverbs 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You cannot fully understand the fear of God if you don't understand the love of God. And you can't understand the love of God if you don't understand the fear of God. I love this quote from C.S. Lewis in the Chronicles of Narnia. The kids are, are probing, like, who is this lion? Like, what is he like? Is he safe? And Mr. Beaver says, safe? Of course he's not safe. How could you be so foolish? He's the furthest thing from safe. This God, but he's good. Of course he's not safe, but he's good. I think that as a church, we, we, we want to tame the lion. Yeah? It's so easy to just put a box around this lion and then to have to explain what the lion's like. Somebody said, just let the lion out of the cage. That word uh, fear is mostly translated the exact same in the Old Testament, and it means to revere or uh, to be in awe or to be uh, terrified. Remember a few weeks ago I talked about and Jesus sits himself upon, uh, across from the giving center. And what is Jesus judging the people uh, for? He is not judging them for how much they gave. Jesus is judging the people for how much was not given. Remember that? And that's how God always sees it. It's not like, oh, okay, in worship, you worshiped a little bit more. It's like, no, what did you hold back? I'm the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm a lion. And how did you not worship me.